Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're making a some of delicious, juicy meatloaf. So if you're a meatloaf lover, keep on watching. So first to a hot skillet, you want to drizzle some oil, then add your diced onions, your diced bell peppers, green onions, some red pepper flakes, and some dried thyme leaves. You can use fresh thyme if you have that available. We're going to saute that until it's nice and tender. Once it's nice and tender in a bowl, you want to add your ground beef. I use two pounds of ground beef. Then I added my seasoning that I just made. Once that's nicely added, I then went in with my powder seasoning. I added some onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper, some salt, some Italian seasoning, some dried parsley, some Worcestershire sauce, two eggs, and some breadcrumbs. I then sprinkled in some paprika and used my hands to mix that all together. I used gloves, you can use your bare hands, it's a preference. Once that's nicely mixed together, I then added it to a baking sheet that was lined with foil paper for easy cleanup. You can use a meatloaf pan if you want, but I like using a baking sheet because it gives the meatloaf a nice crust. Once that was formed with my hands to look like a meatloaf, I then drizzled it with some olive oil and added it to a 350 degree oven for around 40 minutes. In a bowl, I added some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, some brown sugar, some garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika. I mixed that all together and that will be my sauce that I'll be putting on top of my meatloaf. Once that was nicely mixed and my meatloaf was done i took it out the oven put that sauce all over my meatloaf and you want to get that nicely coated over your meatloaf i then added it to the oven for another 20 minutes and this is my meatloaf when it was done i sliced into it and listen this meatloaf was too juicy it was so juicy and tender you know you can have some dry meatloafs. This was nice and juicy. And just a little tip, if you want your meatloaf to be even more moist, you can use freshly made breadcrumbs instead of the dry breadcrumbs that I use. That will make your meatloaf even more moist. I had dry breadcrumbs, I used what I had, but you can use freshly made breadcrumbs and this meatloaf will be even more moist. Listen, you have to try this recipe. This meatloaf was so good. So you already know what time it is. It's time to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.